guys, welcome back to another IT Bash video. Okay, but on a serious note, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to record or stream Fortnite Mobile or Call of Duty Mobile, any mobile game or anything on your phone and get it onto OBS and stream it on YouTube, Twitch, uh, Mixer, whatever you want. So first of all, what you want to do is go to your laptop or PC, and I'm going to make this very clear. You need a laptop or a PC, a functioning one. And yeah, I'll leave the download link to what we're about to go to in the description, so just go on your laptop and install it. So what you want to do is open your Google Chrome. Oh, um, that's not. So what you guys want to do first is go to LonelyScreen.com. You're going to search that in, and you're going to check these out. If you have a Mac, you're going to go all the way down and scroll here and press the here button to download if you have a Mac. If you have a Windows computer, you're going to stay on this screen and press download for Windows. Make sure you click the download tab, though. Okay. If you want it to be like a clear 1080p, 720p kind of thing, what you want to do is buy any of these versions, the licensed versions, because this one's just a little blurry and it gets a little glitchy usually, but it still functions perfectly fine. So you're going to press download for Windows, which I already have it installed. So once you have it installed, just X out of it. Okay, next up, you're going to want to go to Lonely Screen, open it up on your computer, which I already have downloaded. Okay. So next up, you need your phone or iPad or whatever you want to stream with. Okay, this is the screen I was talking about. This will always come up every day. Every time you open it up, you're going to see the screen. You always want to click maybe later if you don't want to pay for it. Um, so next up, what you want to do is open your phone, unlock it, check out my apps. Um, you're going to swipe up to see um, this screen. And then you're going to press the screen mirroring button. And then you're going to have the options. I have Apple TV, which is my neighbor's. And then I, the lonely screen is mine, which we will see pop up on the screen once you tap it. Boom. Now it is now on the screen, which you guys can see. I'm moving it around. Um. So, yeah, that's how you set up your phone to go to lonely screen, which will go on your computer. So I'm going to open up Fortnite here. And then how to get it on your computer, you may ask. You're going to want to press Add Source. And then you're going to go ahead, head to the Window Capture button. You're going to press OK. You can name it if you want. And then you have options here. You're going to press Lonely Screen Airplay Server. Then you're going to press OK again. Now what you want to do is hold down Alt to crop these black bars and gray bars that you don't need. On, hold down alt and click and drag now what I want to do is full screen it hey Audrey. um full screen it so you can go to transform and then press stretch to screen now you can't see my face so I'm gonna grab this window capture and drag it all the way down under my face cam my face and that's it guys that's how you use lonely screen onto your computer but now I'm not done. I'm not done, boys. There's plenty more. As you guys can see, my live sub count is here, which we might have to take away so I can show you again. So my live sub count, I will delete that as much as I don't want to. See what I do for you guys? I didn't even delete my sub count. Fun. I deleted the animation. Okay, and we're also going to delete our alert box because we're also going to show you how to add that in. Okay, so our sub count. How do we get that in, you may ask? Go back to Google, baby. Now what you want to do is type in livecounts.net. Now you're going to search up your channel name. My channel name is Icy Brash. You're going to grab this link and copy it. You're going to go back into OBS, press Add Source, and now you want to click Browser. Press OK, and then you're going to have an option to type in a link. It says URL. You're going to take this link out, and then you're going to paste your 
a live counts link on here. Now you're going to press OK. Bam. <clears throat> Ew, this is ugly, you may ask. Now you want to go to properties. Ooh, I see made a mistake. Now you want to go to filters. Sorry. Press the add button. Go to crop slash pad. And then you're going to type for the left box, you're going to type it 175. For the top box, you're going to type in 200. For the right box, 175 as well. And then for the bottom box, 275. Now, don't exit out of this part because we now want to make it transparent if you want so what I do is I usually just go to color key I go here and I change the similarity all the way down here and then I'm going to make a, a custom color and make that white so now it is transparent maybe you don't like the color black like me so I'm going to add another button press color correction go to OK sorry if I'm going too fast guys I'll slow down then we're going to press select color and let's say I want this color. We're going to press OK and boom. Just like that. You're transparent and you got a sub count right on your screen, guys. Simple, but very easy to get lost on. I'm just going to crop it back into my box where it belongs in the dungeon. And then what I usually do so I don't so I have everything organized is I just group it all together in OBS. So I'm going to go find my browser source, which my love sub count. I'm going to group it into beauty because my stream is beauty. So there it is in the beauty category. You don't need to do that, guys. Okay. By the way, if you get confused, ask me questions in the comment section, guys. I will love to help you guys. All right. Next up, after we get our um, live sub counts, we're going to go into Streamlabs so we can get our alert box. So you want to go to Streamlabs.com. And I have my YouTube and Twitch account linked with each other. So I'm just going to log in. My editor's godly, so he's going to blur this out. Please blur it out, or I'm going to not upload this video. <laughs> um, log into your account. Oh, by the way, blur out all the emails and stuff as well. You want to log into your YouTube email. I'm going to wait for it to load. There we go. And now, what you want to go to is widgets. Then press alert box. And then you see this URL, you just want to press copy. Nothing more, nothing less. Just copy. Now you're going to go back into OBS and add another browser source. So I'm going to name this one um, Alert Box because that's what it is. And then we're going to grab the link that we got and paste it. Isn't that familiar from what we just did, guys? So now you'll see. Um, if I test subscriber, it'll come up on here. I see Bash just subscribed. Yeah. Thank you for the sub, I see Bash. I appreciate it. If you want to test the donation, that won't really give you money. This is a test donation for dollar. So now what you want to do is group that in here. And boom. You've got your alert box. So just crop it in somewhere. And that's it, guys. You've now added your sub count and alert box into OBS. So that's basically how you set up your stream without an Elgato. If you guys want to know how to set it up with an Elgato using game sound, I will make another video and let me know in the comment section for, yeah, future reference. And yeah, that's been it for this video, guys. Make sure you drop a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. And yeah, we'll have plenty of more content on helping you guys set up your streams, growing your channels and everything so yeah make sure you come back and check me out because we lit baby all right um i'll catch y'all later in the next one so peace